Blender and Blender. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome for new today. I got the Michaela and Glam White palette and I did this look. So if you'd like to see how I got it, then just keep on watching. I'm so excited. This came in yesterday and it was so hard to not even open the palette and look at it. I got the Michaela and Glam White palette. I'm so excited. This was my first ever Glam White purchase. So I really, really am excited to see what it's about. Let's check it out. I'm gonna try to do this video a tad bit different. I wanna do one my one eye on camera, first impressions, and then oh my gosh, look at this is magical. That is the cutest. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna try really hard to do like a first impressions, like kind of review, do the look, like a tutorial, give my thoughts and opinions while I'm doing it. But I have to look at it. Oh my gosh. Ah, it's beautiful. I'm going to try to do some swatches. I know that I'm really bad about not including those and I want to try to do videos like swatching palettes. But I just, I just want to, I don't even know where to begin. There's so many purples and purple is my absolute favorite. There's like beautiful blues and greens and yellows, pinks and Oh my gosh. Okay, we're about to just jump right into this. Right after I apply my base to my lid. Alright, base is down. Let's see. I'm so excited. I don't even know what to do. You guys, what do I need to do with... The, oh. So, like, Willow looks like it's a dark brown, but, like, ha might have some purple to it. Oh my gosh. I really want to... Let's see if I can try my best to do a quick cut crease these usually take me forever but let's play around let's get colorful i don't want to just stick with purple let's see what do i have oh and there's a mint oh my gosh look there's like little pastels oh okay so i think i'm gonna go into frisky i'm gonna take my elf and j kiss a j5 brush and i'm just gonna run that through the inner part of my crease and i'm going to go about halfway let's see what we come up with here I never like see that I, I usually like to do this while I after I do one eye so that I have an idea of what I'm doing but let's just see what oh this is very well this is applying very nicely I'm just going back and forth with a windshield wiper motions, just trying to map out the shape that I want. Oh, this is stunning. The smaller the brush I feel, the more precise that you can be. So I usually try to take smaller brushes. I feel like I have more control and I can get the shape that I want. Might take a little bit more time to do, but I feel like that's how you get every little detail all right i'm gonna go into mass hole i just love that name actually no let me see. i'm gonna try to do a quick little oh no i'm gonna go into freetown that's a more there we go yeah make sure i have my brush cleaned off i'm gonna use the same brush just gonna blend these shades together I'm using the lightest amount of pressure possible. I'm going to wing this out. Alright, making some progress. I have an idea now, I think. I've kind of been looking at the colors and like planning like what will go what what will go well with what so I'm super excited. Now I'm going to take my Morphe pencil brush that I never know the name for because it's old AF. And I'm going to go into pot two. I don't know if I said that right, but I can hear her saying it. And I'm going to blend out frisky with it. And with the same brush, just clean it off. I'm going back into frisky. I'm touching it up, getting it nice and blended, giving it a little blender roux. 
I know if I try to say anything like pot too, it's not gonna come out the way she says it. My southern accent is really gonna take over. <laughs> now I'm gonna take, what do I wanna take? Roadie or the best color? The best color is screaming at me to use it. But if I'm gonna use like three here, I wanna use three here. So, I don't know, let's go with mass hole. I am gonna go back into Freetown, but I'm gonna take my Sigma E25 brush. I'm gonna make sure I have it cleaned off. There's still some yellows on it. I cleaned them the other day, but I used them again. But anyway, I'm gonna take Freetown. And see, I'll get a little messy out here because I am gonna clean that up. So I'm just gonna get that, give it a blender. Probably should have went with mass hole first, but oh well. I still think that they're blending together quite nicely. I think I'm gonna blend out pot two with iconic because pink can be pretty iconic. So to do that, I want to take a tiny little baby brush here. This is kind of large for something like this. I might, actually no, I'm gonna take my little BH Cosmetics number two brush. I'm gonna go into iconic, which is an iconic pink shade and blend that. This is blending beautifully. But you do know, right, that usually when I do a first impressions palette tutorial review, I do try to use as many colors as possible. So we're gonna be super, super colorful, super glam today. Iconic is, I, I'm trying to cut back on the cussing that I do here on my channel, but I would drop an F-bomb over how good Iconic is. <sighs> I love it so much so freaking much it's freaking iconic okay look at me over here like like losing my marbles over a pink so I think what I'm gonna do is blend roadie out I mean blend mass out with roadie I want to use the best color but I have a plan for it so I'm just gonna take this Fara three mini tapered blending brush and go ahead and blend out mass hole now here's the part that I, where I'm gonna give an opinion real quick. I, I just really wish that there was a matte white and I haven't really used matte whites as much until I got the blends palette because I tend to use it to soften the edges lately and that's just kind of something that I've been doing. But other than that, like that's just kind of my like thought right now. But I'm just giving this a nice little blend. It's not really, it's not a complaint. It's just a, a I feel like that would go well, but I this is totally doable with the colors that are in it. So I am gonna take that Sigma E25 brush and go back into Freetown and touch that up. I feel like Freetown and the best color would definitely be like an iconic duo. I know this is wild looking right now. There's a lot of cleanup involved in this. <laughs> I do messy, messy cut creases. Like they turn out and you're like, uh, and it's definitely a trust the process kind of situation. So now I'm gonna take that little Morphe brush that has no name that I've had forever and go into mass hole yet again and give that a nice little touch up. I always say this, but blending is repetitive. If you would like to have a really nice blend, it's going to be repetitive. You just have to take your time and be patient. And that's rich coming for me because I don't know what patience is and makeup has definitely helped me to learn about patience. So I'm gonna take a little bit more roadie, but I don't know what brush I wanna use. I want it to be, I guess I'll use that BH Cosmetics brush real quick. Give it a little baby, baby, baby blends, okay, baby blends. If you notice me looking up quite a bit, I'm just trying to make sure that my camera has not cut off because it does that and then I, it's usually the worst point and then if I don't look up, I usually lose footage and then I get frustrated with myself. On this Sigma E25 brush, I'm gonna take a little bit more of Iconic and give it a more even blend. Oh my gosh, the shade is gorgeous. I've never really lost my marbles over a pink like this, but it really reminds me of the pink that I was obsessed with when I was in preschool. I feel like I've told that story before, but we had a color in Tom and I was obsessed with dinosaurs. So I had dinosaur pictures to color 
and I would make all of my Triceratops pink. And there was this one pink color and it was my favorite and I would try to take all of those colors and like keep them over there by me because I didn't want to share because I was a little turd. <laughs> they ended up taking it from me. Well, I should have been a better sharer. All right, now let's go back into pot two. I like saying that even though I feel bad because I know I'm, but I'm butchering it. Let's do a little cleanup on this lid. I'm almost out of my solar water. Have some, I have some extra, I've never run out of that. I'm just going to clean my lid with my solar water on a Q-tip. All right, so this is what we're working with right now. I'm gonna go ahead and cut my crease out with some of the Clean Canvas and Fair from Gerard Cosmetics. To do this, I'm taking my Morphe M421 brush because I can really mash it down and get it as clean and crisp as I would like. I have my crease cut. I feel like it's a nice little cut there. I'm just gonna pat this out a little bit. All right, let me see what I feel like I want to do. I want to use some of these shimmers, but I have been on a matte kick and I just don't know what to do. I don't know, I feel like this could be like a galaxy kind of look. And while I want to use the best color, technical difficulties there, but I'm just going to take Frisky on my ColourPop E10 brush and I'm just going to kind of wing it out. I'm just going to stamp it down. I'm going to make like a little baby wing. Now I'm going to take some mass hole. I love that. And I'm going to apply it on the inner corner area of my lid. So I have a story real quick. When my husband and I went to Vegas in 2018, I had never been on an airplane. And when I tell you I was terrified, terrified I do believe is an understatement. So we went to the bar in this restaurant once we got their security and everything. I was like, I want to have a couple of margaritas. Like, I just want to, like, have a little drink, calm down. While we were there, I was talking to these, this really nice lady and this really nice guy. And they kind of had a northern accent. It, I, could, I felt like it was like a Boston one. And I was asking them, like, you know, where are you from and everything. And they said they were from there. And I was like, oh, cool. My mom's from Pennsylvania, you know. And, like, I would love to go to Boston. I'd love to go to Pennsylvania and everything. We were talking about hoagies. And they were talking about, like, I think they called them slammers or sliders. I can't quite remember what they called them. But I was like, hoagies or subs. And they were like, subs. There were so many different names. But they were so nice. And they were like, hey. Flying, flying is not really bad. You know, it's a little nerve-wracking the first time you go. And they were so, so nice. I won't forget them. <laughs> so, I'm going to apply a little bit of this. A little bit more. And I'm going to try to get that little crease that I got going on in my primer to go away. My card ran out, so I had to go through and delete my old, like, my footage from the Lizzie McGuire ColourPop palette because I don't have another memory card right now. So I'm gonna have to get one in a little bit. All right, what I'm gonna do now is take a little bit of pot two and blend it with Frisky. Just a little bit, just to kind of get it on the start of like where you can tell your eyeball is under the lid. Just for a nice little gradient blend. And I'm gonna take a little bit of Rhodey and get it blended with a mass hole. I, the funny thing about my memory card doing that is that yesterday I was thinking to myself, I was like, ooh, I'm probably gonna need a memory card soon because I knew I was on my last one. I was like, I'm gonna need to get a new one soon. And well, I guess I need to get that figured out quicker than I did. <laughs> I'm gonna touch mass hole up just a little bit. Nice little baby baby blends. Patting that. Oh, I love it. Okay, so now let me see. 
Take a little bit more pot too. I'm gonna go into MJ because I haven't used that one yet and then I'm gonna use the best color because I wanted to use that one and this MJ shade is so cute. I'll hope it looks like, oh yeah, that's beautiful. That is exactly what I needed. Off to the best color, I've been itching to use it, so let's do it. Oh my gosh, that. I just had an idea for a look that I will film soon. Do you want a three looks in one palette video with this? Because I could totally do one. I'm still working on my Kaleidos one right now. Yesterday was a flop with everything that I attempted to do. So I didn't get to do the second look. But I'm going to do that tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to go back into MJ. And just bring that a little bit farther onto the lid. And I'm going to use, what do I want to use now? I feel like I need something light, but I want, well, I think simping is going to be a good one. So we're going to just go ahead and do that. That would be pretty because I've been kind of eyeing it. <laughs> oh, yes. This is so freaking beautiful. Now, if I do a three looks one palette with this, this next week I have coming up, which surely this will be, um, I'm saying this before everything, but I will have a really, really, really busy week. So it might be a week, like a week or three before that goes up, but I'll get it up if that's what you guys are interested in. Please do let me know. Oh, isn't that so pretty? Now I kind of, kind of feel like I want to take these other colors up a bit. I kind of want to put some graphic liner are we thinking graphic liner or are we thinking like maybe oh yeah I can do some gems yeah I'll do that so I'm going to take mass all up just a little bit more and then do roadie and the best color that way might actually do a little graphic liner bit right in here but the rest maybe with the gems because you know we got to be extra around here I'm going to blend that a little bit with simping I'm going to take MJ now and do the same thing. And then go back into pot two. And then a little bit more frisky. I'm just going to clean up my little shadow wing. And what I'm thinking I'm going to do is probably apply the liner and the gems off, ca off camera. Because I really want to focus on the palette here. Okay. Yeah, so I think that's what I'm going to do. This is this is turn, turning out to be quite interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and do some liner and add some some gemstones, rhinestones, whatever, and I'll be right back. All right, so this is the finished look. What do you think? I definitely will be grabbing this beauty right here quite a bit. So congratulations to Michaela. And like, I, sh I can't stop shaking it. It's got the little, the, the pretties in it. Oh, it's so pretty. I really wish that I could have gotten the whole collection, but like this was what I could get. So I'm happy that I could get it. I love it. I will try to include swatches like somewhere between here and the end i have to get them like on my arm and whatnot and that will require a little assistance because i can't really see what i'm doing i don't have a monitor i just have a fun little setup of a mirror so i can just keep up with if my camera dies so this is kind of a one person operation over here so anyway yeah i will include the swatches they should be here directly I forgot my swatches, but guess what? We're back today and I'm gonna put them in and you didn't even know because this is in the video, so it didn't matter that I forgot. So, I don't exactly know where I'm gonna start. I think I'm just gonna go through like the neutrals and everything and go a long ways to top to bottom. So I'm gonna start from this row right here, mainly the neutrals, and then work my way down to the still pretty neutral and then like my favorite three rows in the whole palette. So from this way over, I'll say the names. I suck at swatching stuff, so sorry about that. 
Anyway, this is, first up is Harley. Let's see how well I can get this going. And... I'm gonna... I'm gonna show you that I'm doing it so that you can see, but like... I really, really suck at trying to include swatches. That's why a lot of the time there's really hardly any swatches in my videos and stuff. Because I suck. Okay, this is how you doing. Okay, so my swatches are being like leaning, but okay. Anyway, Gemini. Let's do that one. These are actually pretty nice neutrals. I don't do a lot of neutral looks, but if you want to see neutral looks... I can do it, if that's what you want to see. Next up is What's Poppin'. Oh, that's buttery. That's nice. That is so nice. See, I'm not, like, I don't know. I go back and forth with shimmers a lot. Like, I do a lot of mainly matte looks but like a good shimmer just really is like mm-hmm and that I don't even really use shimmers that color but now I want to use it <laughs> all right I'm gonna go into hot cocoa these are so buttery just to the touch like I used it in the video that has these included and like it performs so well and just so soft to the touch and it's all buttery I'm just like what <laughs> But let's see here. That's a nice, like, warm, orangish brown, like, bronzy. That's pretty. Alright, now I'm really interested in seeing what Willow is about because this color to me looks like a brownish purple. So, I'm super interested in seeing this. Oh, is this like a dark, dark purple? Touch my face. See, my swatches are absolute garbage. Oh my gosh, if I would have for sure, for sure knew when I did that look yesterday that that was like that. <laughs> that would have been what I used. That is freaking gorgeous. Oh my gosh. That's like the deepest like plum but with a hint of like brown. Like a brown or more like a brown with a hint of plum. Like it's just like that's super pretty. Oh my gosh. I've run out of fingers to swatch with right now and we're already we're just now getting off of the first row so let's see handy dandy micellar water on a little cotton pad all right now this is a pretty shimmer heavy row here there's four shimmers one two three four yeah four shimmers two mattes i really like the layout of this palette i didn't appreciate it enough yesterday while i was looking at it I. Uh, the neutral row that we just finished, right? What's poppin's the only shimmer in that. That I have a I have an idea for a, for a video. Please let me know if you like this idea. But I kind of just wanted to like take each row, like long ways, like horizontally, if you will, and make a look with just those colors. What do you think? Is that a good idea? Because I'm interested. Anyway, I would call this bit of a train wreck part here that's like post tutorial like let's chat and talk palettes and cut like do swatches because like i'm just vibing right now so i'm gonna go into glow oh going into glow up and it feels like butter and this is this is pretty my help has left the building someone knocked at the door i don't know who it was but you know Oh, that is gorgeous. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of like, well, I accidentally got it on the Harley shade. 
Um, okay, this is Simba. This is an interesting color because it's almost like a salmon, but almost like an orange. So, um, please forgive me if you don't see what I'm doing. I'm just trying to make sure I'm not overlapping these swatches. Oh my gosh. That's beautiful. Accent. Yeah, mine's coming out. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Ugh. That accent is kind of close to glow up, but it's also kind of not. Because Glow Up has like this beautiful like summery vibe to it to where it's like it has like hints of pink and orange and like gold. So where it's like a summer sunrise or a summer yeah, I think a summer sunrise would be good. And then accent is like just this beautiful like creamy orange but like almost iridescent but like just stunning. I, I don't know. I'm obsessed though. Let's see. Next up is buffalo chicken and a buffalo chicken. Sounds pretty good. Like a buffalo chicken wrap. I just made taco balls and my husband picked up some queso and guacamole and a to-go margarita and that was what we did for dinner. It was pretty good. Buffalo chicken. But that's still... Oh. Apparently, I swatched really hard, I guess, and I got a honk on my finger, and I didn't get to finish the swatch because it fell off onto my leg, but that's okay. That was my fault. I shouldn't have put it too much pressure with my finger in the palette. No, I went over that a bit. I didn't really need to. I just wanted to, like, get it to be more as even as possible. I'm sorry if you really wanted to see swatches. I'm not very good at them. So, disclaimer. I'll show you, but it's not going to be the best. Alright, I think I'm just going to go like long ways. Maybe no. I don't know what I'm going to do here. We have two more on this on this row. I'm going to have to like wipe my arm off and start again. Manifest. I, this is what I... I, didn't, I used this in my inner corner yesterday. I, no, no I didn't. Oh, yeah. No, this was when I was eyeballing. But, let me see. Oh, that's freaking gorgeous. I'm trying to make them longer so that it shows up when I lift my arm. But isn't that just like... Freaking everything? That is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Okay, I have to wipe my arm off, so I'll be right back. <laughs> Alright. As clean as I can get arm for now till I go shower. Which is going to be pretty soon after because I'm ready to go to bed. Let's go into cookie. This is the last one on the second row. Let's get a little face trying to see what I'm doing here. So far out of the shimmers, Manifest and Glow Up are my favorite. And that's just from the ones that I haven't tried. So next up is Iconic and this is on the third row. And this is what I used for the look that is just there. So we all know how I feel about that. So I'm just going to do this where you can see that I'm swatching it. I just want to... And you, this is just like one go in the palette. Like I like rubbed my finger on it like two or three times. So. She pigmented, and she is iconic for a pink. Like, I lost my marbles. It's, it's, like, if you remember from, like, a few minutes ago. Yeah, that, this is why. Look at it. It's beautiful. So, simping. You know how I feel about that color, too. Like, it was, oh my gosh, just magic. So, going to, look at that. That is drool worthy, Okay. These two pinks together, I can definitely see a pink, pink look in my near future. And I'm here for it. Okay, I'm going to take Iconics the rest of the way around my arm too because I didn't 
All right, so here's what we have so far, and I'm gonna go into Immaculate, which is what I used for my inner corner highlight yesterday, and Immaculate is so fitting because it is. That's, that's just that. So, try to get you a little C. Oh, I'm never in, like, I can't make it be straight across ever. Oh well. No one ever said my swatches were going to be decent anyway, so here we are. <laughs> now, this is going to be MJ, which I used for just a tiny bit in this look. Not the one of my eyes. I don't know why I keep saying this look that you're already watching because you're probably getting annoyed with me. Like, yeah, I know, I just watched it. All right, next up is MJ, which made a tiny appearance, but it is so, like, it was so, like, pretty. So... And I'm doing this with no base on my arms. I'm just putting it on my skin. So, I mean, there's that. This is new beige. Oh. Wow. Whoa. Oh. Nice. See, I'm trying to say this the way I can hear her say it, but like. It's just going to be hick when it comes out of my mouth. Sorry. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. There is a shift to this one. Hold up. Wait a minute. Hold on. I'm fixing to just, like, go ham with this one. But, like, there is a total freaking... There's a shift in this one. And I am obsessed with shifty shimmers, so allow me to just slide this all over my arm real quick and drool because it goes from silver to purple. You don't see it? Yeah. Like, you want me to say I did? Well, I mean, you were looking like you didn't know what was going on, but I was like, okay, am I tripping? Like, is the camera seeing this? I had to see if my, my helper back there my husband had to see if he could see the shift in it because every time I wear my Cleona eyeshadows, he was like, oh, I love that shift. And I'm like, me too. <laughs> so whenever I see a shifty shade, I have to show him like, look at this. It's magical. Now we're on the second to the last row. One more row after this one. This is the best color. And honestly, I was drooling over this. So let's see how I'm going to make this work. I'm gonna do it. Can you, can you see that I'm not faking any swatches? I know some people get like irate about that, but you know, I'm just trying to figure this whole situation out by the whole swatching. So I'll show you that I'm swatching and I'll hold my arm up, but I'm just trying to make sure that you can see because I really suck at this. Next is Bonehead. This is like green AF. Oh my gosh. I, like, I don't even know if the camera is going to pick it up. And I, I'm not flipping you off, so I'll put some fingers out. You can see my swatchy fingers. But, like, my middle one here, like, it is green. Whoa. Gia. Do you see the green? I don't feel like you see the green enough, so I'm going to give you some more green. Do you see the green? We must see green. Where's really This is Bonehead. And let me tell you, wow. <laughs> okay, so this is the third row and part of the second to the last row. It's Iconic Simping Immaculate MJ New Beige Nas. The best color and Bonehead. I'm gonna go wipe this off, go into stunning, and then make my way through the rest of these shades from there. Instead of going through all my cotton rounds and I'm going to use like all the micellar water I have left in this, I'm gonna bust out the makeup remover. Alright, let's dip right into stunning. Oh, 
Ooh. Let's see. That is a pretty green. I really don't think that I have any green shimmers that are anything like that. So like that is really, really pretty. All right, I'm gonna go into Oh, this purple seems like it has a little bit of a shift to it as well. And that makes me so happy. I love a little duochrome moment. So my camera cut off and I just wanted, and I was just kind of oogling over the fact that it looks like it has a slight pink shift in it. And it is absolutely gorgeous. Now I'm going to go into pot two. I don't even ask me if like if I think that that's close to how Michaela would say it because no absolutely not my southern accent heavily takes over a lot of the time so no not happening <laughs> I'm getting nowhere close to her when I say pot too okay but this is absolutely beautiful I really like it I did not do that a very good swatch but from how it worked on my eyes, this just because I can't get this to swatch, which is definitely my fault. Like I don't, I don't have these swatches lined up right. But like it's, it's amazing. Now I'm gonna go into Rody. This is like a pastel baby blue. Let's see. How am I gonna do this so you can see what I'm doing? These shades are so buttery. I don't know if all of Glamlight's eyeshadow formulas are like this because this is the first palette from them that I've picked up. But if they all perform as well as this one from what I've tried and then like from these swatches, I should definitely get more of their stuff. Now there was a more pastel palette that I really kind of had my eyes on because the blends palette has made me want to try more pastel things. My stomach just growled so loud. Did you hear it? Me? Yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> anyway, my stomach growled and I'll probably keep that in and that just threw me completely off track because I can't concentrate. So, um, I'm gonna clean my fingers off real quick and then I'm gonna go into the last row. <laughs> All right, this is Audrey. Let's see, oh. This is a pretty intense shade. I don't even know if my camera's picking up, but. O-M-G. That is freaking beautiful. Like, I don't even know what color I would call that other than wow. <laughs> feel like I've said wow more times than Owen Wilson at this point. Wow. Wow. All right, this is Freetown, which I used just for a minute for this look for this video. Um, okay. I'm gonna try to get it because I'm not, I'm not being able to get it to line up right. But this, it looks a little darker than Mass Hall. And it kind of swatches a little darker than like, well, I can't say. I haven't swatched Mass Hole quite yet, but, like, it kind of, like, I thought that this would be a really good, like, crease shade to create depth. And then, like, Mass Hole ended up pulling a little darker. And it could have been something that I did. But it's just kind of, it swatches to me a little bit darker on my arm than when I applied it to my lid. So, I don't know. That's not a complaint or anything. It's just an observation, so don't come for me, please. Next up is Loop, and it is a more of a olive and lime kind of green, like a dark lime, like a lima bean, like a lime, but like a lime that you put in the margarita. Okay, anyway, that was a train wreck. Oh, this is so pretty. Okay. Really, honestly, my swatches are the worst, so I'm sorry. Oh, and I just, like, 
moved my arm at the worst time and made that a really shonka shonka swatch but we are at welcome to the hot mess express this is loop it's pretty i really am just kind of like by swatching this coming up with look ideas and i'm really excited to try them out oh handy it looks like oh, i'm excited please i'm so sorry for the disrespectful squeaky chair it is outrageous you need to get Hank Hill with a WD-40. This is handy. Let me see if I can. Oh, that pulls very nicely. That looks like a nice yellow, but I don't know if you can see it. I'm gonna wipe this off and I have two more shades just because it's all, it's really hard for me to get these swatched and like not hurt myself in this loud, disrespectful chair. Before I wipe it all off though, it is Stunning, Pot 2, Rody, Audrey, Freetown, Loop, and Handy. And there's not any soap or anything on this makeup eraser and it looks like and Audrey they left their mark so that might be something that I need to keep in mind when I'm using them like they may stain I really don't care if something stays in my lids I can just cover it with a clean canvas and call it a day and get on with my merry business so staining doesn't quite bother me I know some people don't like for eyeshadows to stain it's just an observation because like right here and right here you can I don't know if my camera's picking them up but I can see them and I like got all everything off my arm so we have frisky and then last but not least we have mass hall so this is frisky both of these I used in the look so I know that they're cute I am going to apply some more frisky to kind of wrap it around my wrist. Make it look like a bracelet. I feel like that gives you a nice visual of the color. Which just sucks because I can't like do it like this because I have no monitor to see. I'm trying to look in the mirror back there because I have a mirror that I can see the back of my camera. I've, I've kind of touched on that before, but yeah, it's a whole, it's a whole process. And then last but not least, we have mass hole. I'm going to try my very best. To do it like this but I do about want to swatch mass hole and Freetown beside each other because Freetown really kind of to me in the palette looks like it would be darker but anyway that's a mass hole Actually, yeah, Masso is darker than Freetown. It just looks like Freetown is a little bit darker to me in the in the pan. But yeah, anyway, that's Frisky and Masso, and then Freetown beside it, just because I wanted to see like them swatched beside each by each other, because like I felt like one was darker than the other when it kind of wasn't, but. No big deal. I was just playing around. So hopefully that could help you out if you were on the same page as me by thinking like, hey, this kind of looks like it's a little bit darker in the palette. So yeah, no complaints here as far as I'm concerned. Like it swatches nicely. The colors are pigmented. The shimmers, buttery, buttery. Okay. There's even some that have like some shifty goodness to them. So you know, shifty goodness is all, all I need. I mean, when it comes to a shimmer, if it shifts, I'm about it. But that's the swatches for the palette. And I did get some handy in Manifest. So I'm going to have to clean that out. So back to yesterday and me. And I will put them in. What do you think about the look? I'm obsessed. I love it. And I just like... I only used, I tried to use a lot of colors, but I used 
Iconic the best color MJ Pot 2 Frisky Mass Hole in Freetown. I cannot wait to use Loop and Handy and like Buffalo Chicken. It looks so pretty and Simba. Oh my gosh. Like I really, I plan on doing a few more videos or a three looks one palette video with this because it is just i don't know I, lo I love it like i'm so excited this is my first ever glam light purchase and if of all of their formula is like this i need to buy more like yesterday <laughs> all right i will have all of my social medias down below in case you want to keep up with my awkward face and shenanigans while I'm not here on YouTube. And if you'd like to keep up with future videos or my older ones, then please hit the subscribe button. It helps me out a lot and I really, really appreciate it. And if you like this video, could you give it a thumbs up because that lets YouTube know that people will find me a little bit interesting and that helps me out. So I am always so very grateful for that as well. And yeah, I don't want to keep you here too long. I know this was kind of a weird one because I didn't do like the liner and the gemstones on camera. I wanted to focus more on the palette and yeah let me know what kind of look you would like to see next with this beauty because I am obsessed and I cannot wait to do something else. There's a variety of colors. The purples are immaculate. Like I'm just like what? Excuse me? You snapped with these purples? I love them. Anyway thank you so much for watching and I hope that I'll see you in the next one. Bye!